Hello there, uh, my name is Melon FPS, and today we'll be going through converting your mouse sensitivity from other popular titles like Call of Duty Warzone, Apex, and Valorant to Splitgate. Now, for those of you who don't know, um, proper sensitivity conversion is incredibly important, not only for Splitgate, but for all FPS titles. This is because as you play your preferred FPS game, be it COD, Apex, or Valorant, you build muscle memory, and being able to carry that muscle memory over to another game one for one is a huge help, especially when picking up a new game such as Splitgate. Now, what most people do when they download a new game is they just plug in the sensitivity from their favorite game and just start playing. I cannot emphasize this enough. Do not do this. There is a huge variance in sensitivity scales between games. Um, for example, personally speaking, my sensitivity is 29.68 centimeters per 360, which when converted to Apex Legends gives me an in-game sensitivity of 7.5. Now, if I converted that Apex sensitivity to Valorant, it drops all the way down to 0.55, and if I went from Apex to Splitgate, it jumps all the way up to 3.589. So, as you can see, just plugging in a random sensitivity without converting properly um, will be a huge disadvantage for you, and you also run the risk of overriding the muscle memory you've built playing your other games in the long run. So, to prevent you losing your aim that you've picked up from other games, um, in this video we'll be teaching you how to one-for-one -one match your sensitivity to Splitgate, and also provide you a baseline sensitivity so you can convert your sensitivity to any other game you want. Uh, and also we'll be teaching you how to use tools to make sure that your sensitivity conversions are 100% accurate. So let's get into it. Now, today we'll be using a website called www.mouse-sensitivity.com for conversions. The first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to take the sensitivity from your preferred game and convert it to Counter-Strike Global Offensive. Now, the reason we're doing this and not converting directly to Splitgate is because in the future, if you want to convert your sensitivity to another game, having CSGO as a baseline sensitivity is very useful and very easy to convert from because of the sensitivity scale it uses. Now, a quick little preface before we begin. It is incredibly important that the information you put into mousesensitivity.com is correct or your conversions will be wrong. So be sure to verify everything from the game you're converting from as you go along. Now, for example, let's say you're coming from Valorant. First thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to select this box right here and you're going to want to put in Valorant as the game we're converting from. Next, you want to go ahead right here and put in your in-game sensitivity. And then you want to go over here to this DPI option here. Now, if you don't know what your mouse's DPI is, you can check your control software. For me in the HyperX software, it says right under sensor and it says 800 right there. Now, you can ignore all these other boxes over here as the website will autofill all the default information here. Note that if you have customized anything from Valorant or Counter-Strike Global Offensive, please input that information because it will mess with the sensitivity conversions. Now, uh, you want to go down here next, and you want to put in Counter-Strike Global Offensive right here, and then again, you want to put in your DPI. Again, you can leave these all default as the website will autofill all the information required. And then, if you go down here, we'll find our conversion information. So, basically, you want to verify that this and this are the same. This, convert, this makes sure that your conversion was proper. Now, there are two important things we're going to have to take from this here. We're going to want to keep this number here, the 360 distance, and the sensitivity. So go ahead and copy those off and save them on a document on your computer as we will need these later. These two values will be serving as your baseline sensitivity scale for any future conversions you want to do. So in the future, if you want to convert your Splicket aim to Halo Infinite, this is what you'll be converting from to ensure you get a one-for-one -one conversion. All right, now that we have a baseline sensitivity in the form of CSGO, let's go ahead and open a new tab. And then what we're going to do is we're going to convert from Counter-Strike Global Offensive to Splitgate. Now, again, just as we did last time, go ahead under the Convert From box, put in Counter-Strike Global Offensive, copy the sensitivity that you previously, that we just got two seconds ago from converting from your previous title. Go ahead and put in your DPI. Again, leave this all blank. If you do have a custom FOV, go ahead and input that now. And then go down to Convert To, put in Splitgate, Put in your DPI, and then what you're going to do is this will default to HDEG 16 by 9. You want to change this to HDEG Res. I'm not 100% sure why, but if it's set to anything else but this, it, it converts improperly. I'm not sure why. Um, but regardless, go ahead and change this to HDEG Res, and then if you are running a customized FOV for Splitgate, go ahead and input that now. 
Now we can go down and we can again check just like last time. The 360 distance is uh, the same between the two. It even gave us a max discrepancy number here, which is very helpful. So we have a discrepancy of 0 0.0004 inches, which is completely negligible. It's a margin of error. So now what you're going to want to do is again, just like last time, you're going to go on and take your split gate sensitivity and put it onto the same document. You put your CS sensitivity and then all you have to do is hop into split gate, throw in the sensitivity and test it out and see how it feels. Now, the margin for error for mousesensitivity.com is very small, so I doubt any of you will have any issues. However, if you do have any problems, verify all of your in-game information. So make sure your FOV, your DPI, your sensitivity is correct. Make sure there's no customized options, that kind of thing. If you verified everything and it still isn't right, you may have to do your conversion manually using a program called Kovac Sensitivity Matcher. Now, unfortunately, as the time of recording this video, it is broken. Um, this is what it's supposed to do, as you can see in Apex Legends and uh, CSGO right here. But for some reason, whenever I put it into Split Gate Arena Warfare, it just does this. So unfortunately, I cannot show you guys how to use that right now. Once this is patched, I will make a video on how to use this to do a manual conversion ratio, but I'm going to have to wait for a patch to come out before I can do that, sadly. And again, if you do have any other problems, be sure to check the forums on mousesensitivity.com. The Everyone there is really helpful. If you have any problems, they'll be happy to help you. You can also comment below. I will try and help everyone I can. I can't guarantee I'll be able to help everyone, but I will do what I can. But hopefully you didn't have any problems and you have a successful conversion and now your aim from your previous game is one for one to split gate arena warfare. Now again, remember to keep the CSGO sensitivity, 360 distance, and DPI used. Write that down because in the future if you ever want to convert your aim to another game such as Halo Infinite, you will need this information. And again, if you change your split gate sensitivity, be sure to update your CSGO sensitivity so your conversions aren't incorrect in the future. Um, thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful for you. Again, I will be making a video on how to use Kovac Sensitivity Matcher once a patch is released. Fingers crossed that is done relatively soon. Um, and again, if you like this kind of content from my channel and you want to see more, please like and subscribe and let me know in the comments down below. Uh, I do have an idea for a split gate aim video to kind of overview what things to practice and a good aiming tips for that kind of stuff. So if you'd like to see something from that, please let me know. Uh, but aside from that, thank you for watching and good luck in the arenas.